one hormone left so you can see the gland is the pancreas ठीक है the hormones created by the pancreas is insulin and glucagon and this pancreas is located below the stomach okay and what is the role of insulin nowadays you are very well aware that it control or lower the blood sugar level the person uh, suffering from the gland pancreas if it is not secreting much of the insulin needed to the body the person will uh, suffer from the disease diabetes hum kehte na uski sugar badh gayi thi aur ye kyunki uski body mein insulin kam secrete hota hai theek hai क्योंकि जो पैनक्रियाज है वो इंसुलिन कम सिक्रीट कर पाता है ठीक है तो हमें बाहर से ऐसे पेशेंट्स को बाहर से इंसुलिन देना पड़ता है देर आर इंसुलिन इंजेक्शन अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट तो ऐसे पर्सन जिनका इंसुलिन कम बनता है या पैनक्रियाज कम सिक्रीट करता है तो ऐसे पर्सन को डिजीज डायबिटीज हो जाती है क्योंकि उनका शुगर लेवल बेटे इंक्रीज हो जाता है तो हमें आर्टिफिशियल भी इंसुलिन देना पड़ता है उसके अलावा भी टेक ग्लूकागन है ग्लूकागन जो हार्मोन है वो ग्लाइकोजन को ग्लूकोज में कन्वर्ट करता है आपकी बॉडी में और जहां तक इंसुलिन है आपका डिक्रीज करता है ब्लड शुगर लेवल ये क्या करता है इंक्रीज करता है ब्लड शुगर लेवल ओके बेटे क्योंकि ग्लूकोज आपकी बॉडी को मिल जाता है ग्लूकोज एक मोनोसेचराइड है सबसे लोअर ग्लूकोज यू डू इन हायर स्टैंडर्ड मोनो डाई ट्राई पोलिसचराइड आर देयर तो जो भी ये जो होती है ग्लूकागन एक पोलिसचराइड होती हैं बहुत सारे पॉलीमर्स जैसे आप पढ़ा था ना हमने चैप्टर तो पॉलीमर्स क्या थे बहुत सारे मोनोमर्स का बना हुआ था तो, तो ग्लूकाजन भी बहुत सारे मोनोमर्स का बना होता है इसको तोड़ता कौन है ग्लूकोज में वो ये तोड़ता है जब ग्लूकोज मिल जाता है तभी आपको देखा करो जब तो गर्मी आती है तो आपको मार्केट में ग्लूकोज अवेलेबल होता है है ना क्योंकि तो ग्लूकोज हमारी बॉडी को रेडली अवेलेबल है कोई भी फूड है फर्दर उसने ग्लूकोज ही बनना है वो हमारी बॉडी को अवेलेबल तो इंस्टेंट एनर्जी लेने के लिए हम ग्लूकोज पीते हैं कि हमें इंस्टेंट एनर्जी मिल जाए क्योंकि बाकी इंस्टेंट नहीं देते हाँ जी मैम पैंक्रियाज में इंसुलिन प्रेजेंट होता है पैंक्रियाज बेटे रिलीज करता है ये सारे ग्लैंड सिक्रीट करते हैं आप थोड़े नाइन्थ में आपको बायो के टीचर करवाएंगे टिश्यू चैप्टर तो यू विल गॉट टू नो अबाउट देर आर डिफरेंट टिश्यूज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टिश्यूज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑर्गन में प्रेजेंट है कोई स्क्वेमश होगा कोई सिलियटेड होगा ऐसे बहुत सारे टिश्यूज हैं तो डिपेंडिंग ट्रीट करना है वो टिश्यू अलग होगा ठीक है व्हाट इज द लोकेशन लोकेशन इज बेटे बिलो द स्टमक इज रिलेटेड बिलो द स्टमक ओके सो इट इज लोकेटेड बिलो द स्टमक द हार्मोन्स आर इंसुलिन एंड ग्लूकागन and one the role is to lower the blood sugar level and other role is to increase the blood sugar level if pancreas is not able to release insulin in the proper amount the person will uh, person will suffer from the disease that is known as diabetes theek hai to agar sugar level increase hona bahut buri baat hai to isliye hum insulin dete hain theek hai so let us start the other topic hope you all have written this okay so the next topic is bit a reproductive phase of phase of life in humans what is the reproductive phase pete when a human is capable of reproduction theek hai when he or she is capable of reproducing so in women this phase begin at the puberty that is you have done it is 10 to 12 years 
and it will generally last to 45 to 50 years okay so in women it will start with 10 to 12 years and last for 45 to 50 years okay so this is the reproductive phase for a, a woman okay so talking about the male again male obviously start on the onset of the puberty that is again between 13 to 14 or 10 to 12 years and they last more longer okay they start with the some depend upon male to male it will start for 13 14 or 50 years and it will remain as long as there is a health okay so in men you can write start with the onset of puberty and last as long as the healthy life is maintained okay so now come the menstruation cycle See, they are not coming at the right time. They are coming too, too much late. Okay. So the sexual cycle in the female is known as menstruation cycle. Menstrual cycle, bete. The sexual cycle in females is known as menstrual cycle. Now this menstrual cycle the board is visible to any everyone. So the bit is sexual cycle in the female, the start of there that is known as menstrual cycle. Okay. Now this menstrual cycle began as we uh, suggested that when the onset of puberty or when the reproductive phase of the life st uh, start, then the cycle obviously start. Okay. What does happen during the cycle? This, uh, just uh, try to listen. You, you know that in the females and in the girls, there is a hormone known as sex hormone that is estrogen. Okay. This estrogen causes the ovaries at in, in a particular month, either of the one ovary, okay? we release the ovum. And this ovum will be transferred into the fallopian tubes. And this cycle lasts for 28 to 30 days. And this release of ovum from the ovary is known as ovulation. Okay? So, what is the first The ova will mature. Now, I am writing the cycle like this. The ova will mature okay. this mature ova will be we can say it is directed by the hormone estrogen. The hormone estrogen will direct this ovum to get released into fallopian tube. Okay? 
so there will be in the next step there will be release of ovum okay the release of ovum from an ovary note also the both the ovary from an ovary into the fallopian tube and this is known as ovulation ठीक है एंड दिस इज बीइंग डन बाय द हार्मोन ईस्ट्रोजन ओके बेटे नाउ दिस इन द फ्लोपियन ट्यूब नाउ आफ्टर दिस ओवम इज रिलीज इन द फ्लोपियन ट्यूब यू हैव डन द चैप्टर रिप्रोडक्शन टू ठीक है व्हेन दिस ओवम इज रिलीज ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम your the inner lining of the uterus become thick and spongy there is a thickening of inner lining of uterus ठीक है, so there is thickening of inner lining of uterus, okay? Okay, बेटे so when the ovum is released into the ovary from the ovary into the fallopian tube the process is known as ovulation and this is being done by the hormone estrogen now when this ovum is released into the fallopian tube in this period the inner lining of the uterus get thick thick thicken with the blood vessels as the uterus is preparing itself to release uh, to accept an egg theek hai jo egg fallopian tube se aana hai the uterus is preparing itself to receive that mature egg okay now when this mature egg is being fertilized it being fertilized and then you have done the chapter reproduction in which it will turn it will turn into two cells and then there are four cell and then there is implantation if it is being fertilized and the fertilization occur in the fallopian tube the embryo will get attached in the lining of the uterus and this will result into the pregnancy okay if it is fertilized you can say if this egg is fertilized then this menstruation will be to stop okay this menstruation will be stop and this uh, fertilized egg will develop into the embryo and then it will be implanted into the uterus and then it will become a fetus okay you know that fertilized egg is changed into the embryo and embryo will be developed into fetus okay ठीक and if the egg is not fertilized if the egg is not fertilized and then there is again bit a breaking of the thick lining of the uterus breaking the thick lining of uterus okay and this thick and soft lining become dead and blood vessels and all the things will be dead and this occur uh, in the form and this will release from the vagina in the form of bleeding and this is called menstruation okay theek hai 
So you can write soft inner lining of uterus along with blood vessels will break and release as bleeding from vagina and this process is known as menstruation okay you can write here this is known as Okay. Now this uh, menstruation occurs usually after the 14 days. Okay? When the ova will come in the fallopian tube, menstruation usually occurs in the 14 days after ovulation means after the release of ova into the fallopian tube when there is a release and it lasts for three to four days. Okay. And then when this menstruation will be over, the uterus will again prepare itself for the um, next month. Okay. And again, if the egg, uh, egg will not be fertilized, again, the menstruation will start. And if the egg will be fertilized, the menstruation will be stopped and the egg will be embedded in the uterus for the development and change into the, you know, the embryo and then fetus. Okay. Cleared? Yes, Peter. Clear to everyone? So this process lasts for 28 to 30 days and it starts with the help of a hormone known as estrogen that is a female sex organ which helps in the uh, maturization of ova and this ova is being released into the fallopian tube thick, and this process is called ovulation and when the egg is released after the release of the egg then uh, release of the egg for 14 days, uh, the uterus will prepare itself for this. Okay. For 14 days, it will prepare its lining and thickening of the inner lining of the uterus will be there and blood vessels will be also be thickened. And if the egg is fertilized, then it will be uh, embedded in the uterus and certainly it will change into the embryo then it will change into the fetus and the menstruation will stop. And if the egg is not fertilized, there is a breaking of the lining of the uterus and this soft lining along with the blood vessels will be breaked and leased from the vagina as bleeding and it is known as menstruation. Okay. So we know that on the onset of the puberty, that is 11 to 12 or 12 to 13 years, this cycle start. And when this cycle start, it is known as men uh, menarche. And when it will stop, it is known as menopause. Okay. Menarche and a bowl. 
okay menarche is when the menstruation flow just start which begin at the puberty and menopause when the menstruation cycle stop which we have done already uh, at the age of 45 to 50 in the female that is called as menopause okay you can write yourself this definition now bit in like next is determination of the sex of a baby okay so just i am giving you hint start and stop it is on puberty it is 45 to 50 okay ठीक है start this is menstruation okay you can write down now you can write down it is available in your book also definition okay so the next is be the determination of the sex of the baby Think how the sex of the baby that baby is a boy or a girl can be determined. <clears throat> you have done uh, in the previous chapter also, but in the reproduction, there is a DNA present on the uh, there are chromosomes in the nucleus, and these chromosomes carry the genes that carry heredity information from parents to offspring like height or. Eyes color and like that, okay. So in the nucleus of every cell, there are chromosomes. Like in male or female, there are chromosomes. So chromosomes carry the information in the form of genes. Now you know that uh, we have all the human beings have twenty three pairs of chromosomes. Okay. So all the human beings have twenty-three pairs of the chromosomes, and we all know that the chromosomes are located in the nucleus, nucleus of the cells. Okay. Out of these twenty-three pairs, means total there are forty-six chromosomes. If there are twenty-three pairs, means one pair, then two. So we can say there are forty-six uh, chromosomes. Forty-six chromosomes. From this forty-six chromosome, bete forty-four are autosomes. Means we can say one pair left, that is two chromosome, will determine the sex of the body. Two chromosomes. So these two chromosomes are known as sex chromosomes. Okay, bete. So there are total twenty-three pairs of chromosome. So twenty-three pairs means forty-six pair. One pair consists of two chromosomes. Now this from this forty-six, forty-four are autosomes, and rest two chromosomes are known as sex chromosome, and they are represented by X chromosome. And Y chromosome. Okay, they are represented by X chromosome and Y chromosome. Now, in the female, they are represented by XX. The pair in the female. is represented by xx and in the male it is represented by xy ठीक 
so in the female the both the chromosome we can say that they are same they are xx and in the uh, male the both the chromosome are not same one is x and one is y theek so these are represented by x and y okay now each gamete contain only one sex hormone chromosome like if one gamete is having x chromosome then other gamete will be having y chromosome okay but as the female consists of beta only xx chromosome it means a egg will always consist of only x chromosome in the female egg will be considering of only x chromosome only x theek hai in case of male the gamete that is a sperm can either consist of either consist of x or y but because at a time only one chromosome should be present okay so in case of the female uh, because there is an x x chromosome so female egg will consist of only x chromosome and male gamete that is a sperm can consist of x or y theek okay? hai now if if the x egg will be fertilized by x uh, sperm the both are x sex then the resulting is a girl and if y a gamete that is a sperm fertilize the x chromosome the resulting sex will be the boy okay so let us understand with the flow chart now so you know bete this is a egg it will always consist of x chromosome okay and the sperm will be considering of sperm can be considering of y like y theek or the egg can consider of x and sperm can have x so if x and y will be fused then resulting will be x y and the sex of the boy the sex of the child will be a boy it will become will become a boy okay now x will be this egg, this egg will be fused by x sperm then the resulting cell will be having the chromosome set xs so it will become a girl okay so we can say that to become a child or a boy depend upon the male gamete that is a sperm that is a father gamete not on the female egg because female egg will be uh, consisting of only one type of chromosome that is x okay and the male uh, will be considering of consisting of only x or consisting of only y if will be consisting of y then if y will fertilize the x egg the resulting uh the resulting baby we must be of a boy and if it is a x will be fused by x then there is a girl okay so likewise the sex can be determined okay bete yes or no